A data sheet is a manual of an electronic component or a PCB that describes the complete mechanical specifications from dimensions, pinout, functionality, block diagrams, operating conditions, supply voltage and temperature ranges to electrical parameters and performance. So we have also power consumption, accuracy, speed and many more. Hey there guys, I am Benson Ortelis and in this video I'm going to show you the easiest ways on how you can read and understand any IC data sheet. So guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified if there's an upcoming video. So let's get started. Welcome to Clean Science! And so guys, all you need to do is download the PDF of the IC that you want to use for your project. So for this project, we're going to make use of the 555 timer IC. So by understanding how this works, you can also apply it to any IC datasheet that you want to use. So I went ahead and downloaded the datasheet of the 555 timer IC by typing in 555 timer datasheet PDF. And so guys, here you have it. So guys, as you can see here, we have the features of the IC, which is number one. So the feature simply describes the functionality of the IC and also the replacement for the IC. And we also have number two, which describes where the IC can be applied and also what it can be used for. So this IC can be used to build a precision timer, a pulse generator, a sequential timer, a time delay generator, a pulse width modulator, a pulse position modulator, and a linear ramp generator. So guys, number three is the description of the IC that describes the capability of the IC. As you can see here, it says that the 555 timer is highly stable device for generating accurate time delays or oscillations. And here we have the device information that shows us in a tabular form the part number, the package, and the body size of the IC. And here guys, we have the schematic diagram that shows the internal construction of the IC which consists of so many transistors and resistors. And we also have the pin configuration and functions that gives us a clear understanding of each legs of the IC and how each legs functions. So as you can see here, we have number one as GND, which is ground reference voltage. So guys, number one, which is GND, is where we're gonna hook up the negative rail of a power supply or the negative terminal of a battery to. And then we have number two as our trigger, which is responsible for transition of the flip-flop from, from set to reset. And so guys, we have number three as our output. This is where we're gonna have the output of the waveform that has been generated by the IC. And so guys, there's few more about the IC data. So I'd like you guys to go through this yourself and tell me what you think on the comment section below. So guys, that's all I have to share with you right now. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe to the channel and stay creative and stay safe. Goodbye, goodbye. Get